This is your economics video on production possibility curves and their shapes. So the production possibility frontier that we just learned about, remember, is a line that extends from one axis to another. And those axes represent two different resources that a company or a country could produce. If you also remember from our first module that opportunity cost is the, the thing that is given up in order to obtain another item. So if you're looking at a production possibility frontier, as you move away from producing one item in order to produce more of the second item, you are producing opportunity cost. So the slope of the production possibility frontier tells us the opportunity cost of one good in terms of a second good. So here's an example. This is again our wheat and computers example with a maximum of 5,000 wheat and 500 computers. This is the maximum possible with the amount of resources that we have available. But let's say that there is some type of uh, improvement in technology, uh, improvement in um, skills or training, or we have more workers. Um, if that particular improvement um, is used in wheat production, we might be able to increase the amount of wheat we produce to 6,000. It could also affect computers. In this case, it could be something like more laborers, which could increase the number of computers. It could work for one or both of these. In this case, if we got um, an improvement in technology that helps the production of wheat and computers, we can increase the production of both of these goods, thus shifting the PPF to the right. Anytime we have a shift to the right in any graph in all of econ, that's an increase. So here we're increasing production, um, in this case of both wheat and computers. I also told you that PPFs don't have to be a straight line. They can also be bowed outward. So this is an example. Let's say that this is an aluminum factory and they can make cans for soda or they can produce mountain bike frames. And for this one, it's not a straight line production possibility curve. The slope of a straight line stays constant, but in a curved line like this, the opportunity cost is gonna change because the slope changes depending on which two points you're moving to and from. So in a bow-shaped production possibility frontier, let's say that we are producing um, a lot of soda and we're producing up here at the top of your graph. As we move away from soda and into mountain bikes, the PPF becomes steeper. And as we get into the steeper part of the curve that's closer to vertical, that means the opportunity cost of mountain bikes is going to increase. So here's a way to look at this. Let's say we're producing at A. At A, we're making a ton of soda. Almost all of our workers and resources are making soda. We're making a little bit of mountain bike. And let's say that we decided that we want to make more mountain bikes and shift some of our workers away from soda and into mountain bike. So as we decide to shift over to some new point, we're going to have to remove some soda workers. Now, if you had the option, which workers do you pick? to take away from soda and shift to mountain bikes. Hopefully you said the worst workers because you want to keep your rock star, most efficient soda workers on soda because they produce a ton of soda per hour worked. But your guys were a little bit less efficient, maybe not so great at soda. They might be good at mountain bikes. You don't know that. So by removing them from soda and shifting them to mountain bikes, you're not giving up a whole lot of soda production. So here, when we move from point A to our second point, we're giving up this vertical amount to gain a um, horizontal amount of mountain bikes. So the opportunity cost of making more mountain bikes is what we're giving up, which is a small amount of soda. At the top of the curve up here, where the curve is closer to horizontal, our opportunity cost is small. Now, let's say we're producing at point B. At this point, we're making a lot of mountain bikes, uh, less soda than we were before. And if we want to continue to move um, into making even more mountain bikes, now we're in the steep part of the curve. So making more mountain bikes and moving to this second point here is going to net us a small amount of mountain bikes. But now we're getting into the very best soda workers. 
So to shift them over to mountain bikes, we're gonna be giving up a lot of soda, which is a high opportunity cost. As you get into the steeper portion of the curve, your opportunity cost to make mountain bikes is rising. Now, what causes a line to be either straight or curved? It curves anytime you have different workers that have different skills. So sometimes the labor force that you have available is more skilled or better trained at making, let's say, soda compared to mountain bikes. But it doesn't have to be about just the workers. Any of your resources could be like this. So let's say you bought a factory and the machinery that came with the factory is better or more efficient at producing uh, printed t-shirts, um, not as good as produ at producing tennis shoes, then you would have the same type of curved production possibility. And it can also be suited for different types of land as well. The soil, um, certain types of soil and the acid content in soil can be better at producing certain crops over others. This is also why farmers want to do crop rotations, because if you continue to, let's say, make only wheat on a certain amount of land, then the wheat plants are going to take certain nutrients out of, out of the soil. And eventually there will be not as good a soil left to keep producing wheat. So if you crop rotate and continue to put different types of crops in there, you keep the soil healthy and that works better um, in the long run. This is also about capital stock. Remember capital stock are durable goods that businesses use to produce goods, factories, equipment, buildings, so if the stock that you have is better produced, uh, is better at producing one good over the other, you're going to get a bow-shaped production possibility frontier. In real life, production possibility curves are probably bow-shaped, um, more likely than they are uh, a straight line.